Wow, this place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. like the egros.
So, we report back to Hilda's Feeney, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. All the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossom duck. Hounds prized for her pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Your fire blades are looking 30. a little fool. Mandibles. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. Oh, hi. You should get moving. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cute guy. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Nothing wrong with a growing boy. You know what you want? A good fit. gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesvim slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's road. The Alpha! Stop that whip, brother!
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're 
We're making good time. What are you doing? The bridge only grows in the daylight. I... I wanted to see the wolves again. I suppose they are grateful for the attention. <clears throat> okay, you've seen them. Now call back Hadi and let's go. <clears throat> so, Lady Freya, had any good books lately? Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally be at peace. Perhaps I can move. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Lemire. What? The most annoying man alive. On your mark. Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. Alpha! 
This way. Alas, no need to hold. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neithold protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. <clears throat> noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <laughs> 